Welcome back to the Pilates Vitamin Series. Today we're doing an exercise called Twist. It's a classical Pilates exercise, but don't be frightened by that. It can be nice flow to it. So starting off on your side, propped up on one hand, I'm not too close and not too far. My hand is a little bit further than underneath my shoulder, and my knees are stacked one on the other, and the hand is relatively in line with the hip, not too far in front of it and not too far behind it, but just in line so that I'm comfortable square to the front. I'm not rotated towards that hand or towards the ceiling, but squared off with my hand. Starting off, I want you to just kind of slump to the mat and let the shoulder rise up a little bit and then press away from the mat. And just do that a couple of times to locate your upper arm bone and the socket. The shoulder joint is such a complex joint, but this can just start to let you feel where your shoulder is in space. All five fingers weighted on the floor, thumb and index finger included, as I push away especially. Just do one more time to locate the things, pushing away. Now this time, keep your shoulder where it is and start to let your rib cage broaden, opening up to the opposite side. The, the opposite hand can be resting down or it can be behind your head. Now just the shoulder, kind of just the rib cage collapses down and then the rib cage moves away. Try not to move your shoulder up and down on your spine. See if you can just isolate your rib cage and your rib cage, pressing into the floor to help that. Move the ribs, don't collapse the shoulder. Move the ribs, don't collapse the shoulder. Do two more like that. Inhale and exhale. Nice job staying square to the wall in front of you and pushing away. Now, setting up for the actual exercise, turn the top knee up so that your foot's flat on the ground and your knee is facing the ceiling. Try and do that without turning the whole rest of your body. So your body stays square, just the knee has turned up. And if you wanna practice that a few times, just turning from your hip and turning from your hip. Try to keep your shoulder where it was and your rib cage a little lifted so you're not slumped in this moment, you're still supported. Knee down and rest, knee turned up, foot flat. Two more times, just seeing if you can isolate this hip action. Last one, rotating the leg. Now place your hand palm up to the ceiling, resting on top of that knee. And this is your beginning position, so we're already working a little bit here. Now just following that rib cage rainbow that we did from a moment ago, push into your bottom hand, take the top arm overhead, you'll press up to a side plank position. Keep pressing your ribs to the ceiling, and then have the seat coming back down to where you came from. If you need to adjust your hand so that you have a good trajectory here, do so now but you're turning the knee up, square forward, and a little engaged in your rib cage already, pushing down into the floor, sweep the top arm up and overhead, lengthening your legs out, and then coming back down. Do that one more time. Sweeping the arm up overhead, you can exhale here if you like, pushing the ribs to the ceiling, and coming back down, have a seat. Now we add to that for the full exercise. Reaching up and overhead, stay in that side plank for a moment. Push from the floor, turning your hips down towards the ground. Feed that hand through the window of that opposite side and keep pushing your rib cage to the ceiling. Come back into your side, bend slowly all the way square and then back down to where you came from. Take a breath, you need to readjust, that's fine to do so. Find your shoulder and your rib cage and follow that to come overhead, sweeping the hand underneath that. Step into your feet a little bit here. Back over to your side bend, totally square, before you come back down. One more time. Big breath as you go over. Nice inhale as you come back. Sweeping back to your exhale. Inhale, come back down. Great job, guys. Reverse for the other side. So just resetting yourself up here for the second side. We start all the way back at the beginning so that your knees are stacked. Your hand, the one on the ground, it's a little bit away from you, but not too far because we're going to pick that up for the second part of the exercise. It's not right in line with your hips. It's a little bit in front. And just start by slumping down to the ground and then unslumping and making sure you're not disturbing your neck too much as you're doing that. I'm not overextending in my elbow, pressing evenly into all five knuckles here. Let's do two more, keeping yourself square and your gaze lifted up. One more time, slumping down and unslumping. Now, keeping the shoulder on your back, 
use that hand and shoulder blade awareness to push the opposite rib cage into a little rainbow and then bring the rib cage back down without slumping the shoulder. Isolate the ribs and isolate the ribs. Not too much shenanigans going on in my lower half either, just the rib cage and just the rib cage. And you can start to bring the hand behind the head or down by your side, wherever it needs to go to just go along for the ride. Last time, long neck, keep that little bit of support. Now turn your top leg up towards the ceiling so knee faces up and foot goes flat on the ground. And then turn it back down onto where it came from. Rotating up without disturbing anything else in the body and back down. It's not easy and you might not make it all the way to that foot flat position. That's okay. Do two more and just do what you can. Keep the support of your rib cage though. You're going to need that right now. Hand rests on the knee, palm is upturned to start off with. And then I do scoot my legs away just a little bit so that I have somewhere to go. I'm pushing my ribs to the side, towards the side of the upturned knee to come up and over, sweeping that arm overhead. Keep thinking rib cage. And then have a seat, come back down to where you came from. Readjust if you need to. Big breath as you go up and over, sending your ribs up and then come all the way back down. Easy with the elbow. If it's helpful to turn your hand a little more out, that'll help keep you from hyperextending too much. One more time, rib cage more than arm, and come all the way back down again. Take a breath, we're adding on. Square to the wall in front of you, knee is all the way up, turned. Take a big exhale as you go up and over. Feed that hand through the window of the opposite side, sending your hips way back. Come all the way back, square your side plank, have a seat and come down. Take a breath, two more times. Rib cage leads the way, pushing up and over. Feed that hand through the window, really send the hips back, all the way back over to your square side plank. Have a seat. Last time, readjust if you need to. Up and over, take a big breath, pushing through that pike position, all the way square to your side plank, and come on back down, have a seat. One side may be a lot easier than the other side. As you can tell, for me, my left side has a lot harder time engaging, but it's a good exercise to address those imbalances. Thank you so much, guys. See you tomorrow.